Now, it was Shakespeare who wrote that the course of true love never did <laughs> run smooth. And if you've seen most of the recent series of Celebs Go Dating, I'm obsessed. Nothing could be truer for Vanessa. Uh, from arguing over pizza toppings to walking out on a date, which we've heard is not really true. But her search for love has been <laughs> anything but easy. Let's take a little look. Man, it was so boring. I don't care anyway. It doesn't make any difference to me. How about I feed you a marshmallow? It's all right. There's no need for that. I what, feed myself. You... It's fine. There was no spark whatsoever. I don't think we had anything in common at all. On my next date, I want somebody with something about him. I'm somebody with some kind of allure. That's what I'm looking for. Allure. Well, Vanessa joins us now, and it is so lovely to have you here. <laughs> I am obsessed with this series. I did text you the other day and say I think I could probably do a better job. I at wish her. you would. I think I might. Anyone who wants to help me out, please I think we do. should just take over. I know. Yeah, we should take over from the, the experts. You couldn't do much worse, let's put it that way. <laughs> Why did you want to do it in the first place? I think? just thought it'd be good fun. Yeah. And, and both my girls watched it, <clears throat> excuse me, and they said it's light-hearted, it's good fun, there's no jeopardy. Yeah. But, of course, this series is the very first one with the brunches, these I know. dreaded brunches where... So so the, all sorts of horrible things happen. So go on, tell me about the, that. The people they've dated all turn up and have to face them face to face. So they get oh, live no. feedback, essentially. So it's all very <laughs> incredibly awkward. You have to pick who you want to pick in front of them and it's just awful. So have you yeah. had good feedback so far? Of course not. <laughs> I've had shocking feedback. <laughs> the thing is, look, this is reality telly. It's not yeah. real life. And in real life, you just would never do anything like this, would you? You wouldn't go on a date with a load of television cameras and people filming so you. Oh, my God. And so, you know, it's an incredible difficult thing to do. I mean, it's you've awkward. done the series, it is isn't awkward. it difficult? I've done it and it was it was at a bad time in my life, really. My well, mum was really ill, yeah. so I shouldn't have done it at that time because I wasn't ready to meet anybody because no. I wasn't in that headspace. And yes, you're right, it's awkward, loads of cameras around you. Exactly, and you know, in real life, A, you wouldn't go on a date if you didn't fancy the person first. No, I you'd, agree. You know, you'd want to be there, whereas in mm. this show, they fix you up and very often, you, you know, you look at them. It's not because I think I'm better than them or I'm, I'm so fabulous, I think I'm Angelina I know exactly who I am. It's just that, you know, you're entitled not to fancy somebody who totally. you don't, you know. Totally. And, 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 you know, some of the conversation is just like, well, you know, walking through treacle, it's just so difficult. And, and you know, you go... And also, you know, I felt that I was on my absolute best behaviour. I was charming, I was delightful, I was terribly, terribly interested in the fact that they really like knitting or, you know, they really like to grow a certain kind of dahlia. You know, I really listened. But the bits that they use are always the bits where I'm like, oh... You know, but it's or, TV, or swearing it? my head off, of course. I know, well, that's, well yes, I love that. Yes. I mean, I actually loved those moments. <laughs> Let's talk about the moment then that you were told off. This was on the date, and this was the salmon smoker. Yes. Um, I think that's what they called the yeah. official title, but in Richard. And you were seen on the phone. He got in his feedback. He was saying she was on her phone, and then she walked off and left. What actually happened? What really happened was I, I, I was casting a few looks of kind of desperate, like, help to the yeah. crew, because obviously there are people filming all the way round. I'm like, oh, God. And the chief exec came over and said, Vanessa, you've been called into work. There's a breaking news story. So I looked at my phone to confirm it. I wasn't just staring at my phone through the day. That would be terribly rude, and I honestly didn't do it. I looked at my phone, and I said to, his, I said to the fella, the smoke salmon man, I said, oh, God, I'm so sorry, I've got to go into work. It's a current affairs and news programme, and there's a breaking news story. got to run in. So sorry, goodbye. But, of course, you know, they didn't show that bit. So it looks as if I'm just looking at my phone rudely, and then I just turn and stride out while this poor fellow's mid chewed like, yeah, that's and I walk fair. out the door, which isn't nice. And he, when I watched it, I thought, God, that looks so rude. But that's not what not really happened. Case. On the other hand, I'm, you know, I'm a veteran of reality TV, having done the first ever Celebrity Big Brother. I should know by now how that these very work. often it isn't how it felt at the time, and yeah. it isn't what really happened. But it's a bit pathetic when you say that afterwards because everybody thinks they've seen you do I a know, certain thing. I know, I know, I know. You know, but let's let's face it, light-hearted. And I just thought it was better to try and get back in the saddle. I did feel a bit sorry for you. There was a moment on last Thursday's, yeah. and this was with Paul, and it was in the brunch that we were talking about, and they basically set you up with somebody that was very, very similar to your ex. Yeah, and reminded we know, me very much of my and ex. And we just now. thought we, from job to age to all sorts of things. Yeah. And I thought that you clearly were quite triggered I by was. this and quite upset I about this. I felt quite this. panicked because I thought, gosh, I'm on telly, I'm being filmed. Yeah. Oh, dear, this is so awkward, this is so uncomfortable. Oh, no, gosh, what shall I do? I didn't really know what to yeah. do because you're stuck there with cameras all over the place. And I thought, oh, no. And I was feeling a million different emotions. And so when the, 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 the agents came to take me away to say, well, how's it going? I said, well, gosh, it's going 
dreadfully. You know, mm. really, this, this, this bell is very similar to my ex and I'm not at all comfortable and it's exactly what I said I didn't want. And for some reason, which I still don't understand, I really don't, I didn't understand it at the time and I don't get it now, um, the agents got very angry yeah. about this. Instead what? of saying to me, oh, sorry, we didn't mean to put you in that position, why don't we come and join you at the table, for example, and make it easier mm. or something? They got very cross with me. I don't know why. It's all over and done with now. You know, it's all... It's all, it's all You're uh, still friends with Paul. Of course Paul. we're friends. I love know. Paul. I don't, I don't, no, I don't why know why Paul? he wasn't... I don't know. Don't know. Something I think he must have been triggered, but I don't know why. I genuinely don't know why. Um, obviously, you can't give away any spoilers, no. but we do hope... I mean, you know, we all want you to fall in love because we love here, you. Here. Like, yeah, you're a lovely person. Do. You deserve to find your happily Thank ever after. You. Thank you. With this journey, for want of a better <laughs> word, do you learn anything about yourself? Does it end up in a positive place? I mean, I can't obviously give away no, no. anything much, but I can say that I think, as of last night, things do turn around. That's She's coming around, say. everyone! <laughs> She's coming around! Oh, you know, it get, the journey does get better. And I suppose it has to be bad for it to get good, doesn't it? Like, yes, that's it. true. But people must remember, it's not real life. It's only Pinch telly. Pinch salt, please, only So these rumours about this millionaire, that's a load wish. of rubbish. Where is he? If there's a millionaire, someone introduce me. I'd love that. Got to be so cool. You can horrible. get in touch here. To be with someone who can to buy me a pizza, all. I would love it. It would be fantastic. Oh, take it yes, with please. a pinch of salt. Thank you so much. Vanessa, it's so good to see you. Yes, and I'll be tuning in watching Celebs Go Dating because it is fabulous. Don't take it too seriously.